Hi. The most popular quiz type for knowledge check is a multiple choice quiz where the learners are given the answer options. But in some cases, the best solution is to use question types that don't show test takers any answer options. In this case, you can create a fill in the blank quiz, which will ensure that they actually have the knowledge to answer the questions without any help. First things first, let's open iSpring Suite and start a new quiz. Then you have to head over to question and select fill in the blanks. Now you're ready to start adding in your content. First, you can adjust the fill in the blank question. And here's where you build your fill in the blank options. You can change your set text as well as adjust the options you will give your users to fill in the blank. Select the arrow beside the answer to allow several possible answers. Then you can continue with the rest of your question. To change a word in your question into a blank, simply select it and click the insert blank button. And again, fill in all possible answers. You can add as many blanks to your question as you like. Okay, that's enough for me. Over here on the right, we have more options. This is where you can decide when feedback will be given, how scoring will work, how many attempts your users have to get all their answers correct, and you can also put a time limit on the question. Finally, you can choose whether or not you want to accept partially correct answers and if the answers are case sensitive. Now let's check out how to set up feedback. Feedback is the response your students will get depending on if they answer correctly or not. You can change your feedback message for correct or incorrect answers. You can also change the branching here. It's easy to send your user back to the beginning of the group if they get the question wrong. And of course, you can adjust your scoring for the correct answers and incorrect, or even for each next attempt if you allow multiple attempts. Now that we have our question all set up, let's make it look good in slide view. First, let's quickly add a picture. From here, you can make adjustments to everything to make it look its best. Let's start by adjusting the placement of this photo. Okay, next, let's reformat the question text to make it stand out a little more. If you want to learn more about designing quizzes in iSpring Suite, you should check out our other video that goes into more detail about it. Okay, now that we have our fill-in-the-blank question all set up, let's make sure it's working properly by taking a look at the preview. Looks good. Let's quickly see how it would look on a cell phone. That looks good too. Okay, now we should make sure it works how it's supposed to. Excellent. Now we're ready to publish. You have the option here to export directly to your computer, to iSpring Cloud, or iSpring Learn, or another LMS using one of the supported LMS profiles like SCORM 2004 or SCORM 1.2, or save it as a Word document. Today, I'm going to publish directly to my computer. And there we have it, our fill-in-the-blanks quiz. Pretty awesome.